Hello everybody, uh, uh, my name is Narendra Kumar and we are from Narendra Kad. And today our topic is evaporation. Till now we have uh, done a lot of uh, subtopics of heat like we did heat and temperature, specific heat, etc. Method of mixtures, how when you mix two uh, substances then how what happens to the heat and all that. But now we come to another topic which is very concerned with heat and which we see all around us. And that topic we will read out. It's a lovely book here which I have with SSC AP book, 10th class board syllabus and uh, the heading is evaporation. When wet clothes dry, you will notice that water in the clothes disappears. Where does the water go? What a lovely question see. Similarly, when the floor of a room is washed with water, the water on the floor disappears within minutes and the floor becomes dry. Right? You know, a servant maid comes and you know, she completely mops the floor with water. Some water is remaining. Slowly after some time, the water completely vanishes. Why does water on the floor disappear after some time? So, let us see with activity 8. So, we have activity 8 today. Take a few drops of spirit on your palm using a dropper. So, you take a dropper and put a spirit. Why does your skin become colder? It's very interesting. Your skin becomes lovely cold comes to you. Take a few drops of spirit, say 1 milliliter in two petri dishes. A shallow glass or plastic cylindrical lidded dish used in the laboratory. So, petri dish is a shallow dish, not very deep. Separate. Take a few drops of spirit in two petri dishes separate. Keep one of the dishes containing spirit under a ceiling fan and switch on the fan. Keep another dish with its lid closed. You close the lid. Observe the quantity of spirit in both dishes after 5 minutes. Such a simple activity. What do you notice? You will notice that spirit in the dish that is kept under the ceiling fan disappears. Whereas you will find some spirit left in the dish that is kept in the lidded dish. What could be the reason for this change? To answer the above questions, you need to understand the process of evaporation. Now the word has come, evaporation. The molecules of spirit that is kept in petri dish continuously move with random speeds in various directions. You agree? Because we know kinetic energy of molecules, <coughs> any, any substance, the, inside the molecules are moving. A substance is not its substance. It is made up of molecules, atoms and molecules and they are randomly moving. So, he says, <coughs> the molecules of spirit that is kept in petri dish continuously move with random speeds in various directions, in various directions. As a result, these molecules collide with other molecules. During the collision, they transfer their energy to other molecules. When the molecules inside the liquid collide with molecules at the surface, the molecules at the surface may acquire energy and may fly off from the surface, obviously. If the surface is like this and all the molecules, the molecules inside, inside will slowly give energy to the surface molecules and the surface molecules might go out. That definitely that is possible. Off from the surface is saying is escape. Some of these escaping molecules may be directed back. How? Because directed back into liquid when they collide with the particles of air. So, air also has molecules. So, some of the escaping molecules of the, the spirit will collide and come back. If the number of escaping molecules is greater than the number returned, then the number of molecules in the liquid decreases. So, the, literally it is going out, it is decreasing. Thus, when a liquid is exposed to air, the molecules at the surface keep on escaping from the surface till the entire liquid disappears into the air. This is called evaporation. During the process of evaporation, the energy of the molecules inside the liquid decreases and they slow down. This is the most important point now. Okay, surface molecules are escaping because molecules below that are giving them energy to the surface molecules and the surface molecules are escaping. Okay, but when it gives the energy, the energy is reduced in the inside molecules, liquid molecules, so it becomes cool. 
बिकॉज एनर्जी रेड्यूसिंग मीन कोलनेस एवरेज कैनेटिक एनर्जी इफ इट गोज डाउन टेम्परेचर हैज गॉड नाउ सी द इंटरेस्टिंग पॉइंट हियर सी इफ यू वॉटर ऑन योर सेल्फ एंड इफ इट इवेपरेट्स यू फील कूल बिकॉज द नंबर ऑफ द एनर्जी ऑन ऑन योर बॉडी द ऑल द मॉलिक्यूल्स इट विल रेड्यूस इट विल गिव अवे इट्स एनर्जी इट्स लाइक टेकिंग अवे एनर्जी दैट द प्रिंसिपल ऑफ द ए सी ड्यूरिंग द प्रोसेस ऑफ इवेपरेशन द एनर्जी ऑफ द मॉलिक्यूल्स इन साइड द लिक्विड डिक्रीजेज and they slow down they transfer this energy to escaping molecules during the collisions so when the molecules escape definitely the decrease of kinetic energy inside that is cooling what a lovely idea so evaporation first of all evaporation happens it also cools sometimes people say evaporation is a process of cooling let us determine the reason for faster evaporation of spirit kept under the fan now he is coming to under the fan by evaporation becomes faster if air is blown over the liquid surface in an open pan or petri dish the number of molecules returned is returned is reduced to a large extent why this is because any molecule escaping from the surface is blown away you understand is blown away by the ceiling fan so when the fan is coming air is coming the molecules are escaping it can't go back air blows it away blows it away blows it away evaporation becomes fast that's why in the when you have wet clothes and the wind is coming what happens the wet clothes become more dry more fast this is because any molecule escaping from the surface is blown away by the from the vicinity of the liquid vicinity means from the space from that area this increases the rate of evaporation this is the reason why the spirit in petri dish that is kept under ceiling fan evaporates quickly when compared to that which is kept closed You will notice that clothes dry faster when a wind is blowing. <laughs> you know, even when, the best example is more more daily example is you see people they'll be doing this. They'll take tea in a saucer and they'll be doing this. Why? Because the the molecules they're blowing it away. It means that the temperature of a system falls during evaporation. Evaporation is a surface phenomenon. It's a cooling process. we can also define evaporation as a change of phase from liquid to gas that occurs at the surface of the liquid only it is a cooling process because the particles of the liquid continuously give up their energy continuously give up their energy to the particles at the surface the inside liquid particles are giving their energy to this and they're moving it away it's very interesting let us look at the following example why do we sweat while doing work Why does the body sweat? What is the use of sweat? Many people don't ask that question. It's a very good question. When we do work, we spend our energy mostly in the form of heat energy from the body. As a result, the temperature of the skin becomes higher, and the water in the sweat glands start evaporating. This eva evaporation, what does it do? It cools the body. Rate of evaporation of a liquid depends on surface area. Obviously, if more surface area is there, more more molecules will escape. okay then as the lid if you keep the lid it won't escape temperature it also depends obviously on temperature more temperature is more kinetic energy inside so more fast the evaporation will take place and amount of vapor already present in the surrounding air does the reverse process of evaporation takes place reverse means does the vapor becomes water gas becomes liquid when and how does it take place that we'll find out in the next section so this section is complete how simple and how lovely the concept is of evaporation that completes activity 8 in the next class we'll understand the opposite of evaporation condensation same process but opposite thank you very much my name is narendra kumar and we are from narendra academy thank you